Hold it right there. Help him. Where the fuck am I gonna go? Josh. Okay. Okay. Hi, players. <laughs> EA abandoning Star Wars Battlefront 2 is like a father telling their child that they're headed to the store to go get some milk, but he actually tells the child that he is never coming back. And that's the unfortunate part of Star Wars Battlefront 2. They abandoned us in the dirt. And needless to say, this was right when this game was at its peak. All this game needed was a few more updates and it would have been perfect. It was perfect. Star Wars Battlefront 2 had a very rocky start. Microtransactions were horrible and you had to grind your ass off to unlock a lot of shit. Now, fans were obviously very upset with this, but EA did something that they have never done before. Okay, maybe they have, but I genuinely can't remember when they have, but they listened to the community. <laughs> and they made shit way easier to unlock and got rid of many of the bullshit microtransactions. And after doing that, they gave us some great updates as well. Now, honestly, I could actually sit here and tell you all the game's updates, but I really don't want to. Let's focus on the more important bit, what EA did to actually turn this game around, and that was focused on the progression system. They did a complete revamp of the progression system. They pretty much made it that star cards or any other item that would impact or affect gameplay was unlockable through playing the game. What? Now this is absolutely incredible because this game is made by EA, and you know, EA is a very money hungry company. Hello. I like money. So it's kind of insane that this is probably the first time in history that EA took away microtransactions. So now we're allowed to unlock skins, star cards, whatever it may be through literally just playing the game, through enjoying the game without having to go work in nine to five and spend your entire shift's money on the game. And that right there, is what fixed the game. Literally all it took. Obviously they had the hero updates added Grievous, you know, Kenobi, Anakin. We had all those hero updates, but the progression system along with that changed the game and made it so much better. Unfortunately, after making the game better, EA said, y'all and abandon the game leaving it to rot and while i do give ea props for being able to turn the game around abandoning star wars battlefront 2 has got to be one of the dumbest things ea has ever done i mean if you look up ea abandons battlefront 2 online you will see so many people complaining and that right there tells you why that is so stupid because star wars battlefront 2 and star wars in general has such a large fan base that abandoning the game is also abandoning millions upon millions of players now they abandoned this game right when it was really starting to get good like y'all know the was it fry Tugs pyramid or whatever shit where is it climax the uh you know what i'm talking about though okay imagine we got the little pyramid right at the at the top we have the climax and battlefront 2 is right there it's about to get there it's it's about to erupt and be possibly the best star wars game ever but by pulling the plug on the game ea basically kind of edged us and gave us blue balls huh they never finished us off by adding any more updates to the game. And the question is why? Why would they leave us when this game was almost at its peak? Now, there could very much be multiple reasons for this. Now, I don't exactly remember when they ended support. For whatever reason, I'm getting different answers online. But I think it was maybe around 2021 or even 2022. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Feel free to roast the shit out of me in the comments. But I'm guessing because of that Star Wars license that they were set to lose, EA kind of just said fuck it and didn't even want to renew the license because it would probably cost them too much money and they probably thought they would lose more money spending money on that license than the money they would make off of star wars battlefront 2. and remember there are so many fans out there that i think that was just such a dumb idea and it's definitely an ea move it was probably very greedy on their side they want to just take the money and run but i just don't think that ea thought their plan through completely because if they kept supporting this game sure it would kind of cost some money and they would have to add some things that players would spend money on for them to get money obviously because at that point so many people had probably already bought the game that they wouldn't be making much money off of new sales so they would have to introduce something like you know a season pass or a battle pass like most games do allows players to get exclusive items by spending money on the game and because there's so many star wars fans out there that played or probably still do play battlefront 2 ea would have made so much money off of just a battle pass so pulling the plug was definitely ea's worst decision ever actually maybe not because i do not have insight into EA's logistics, their data and shit. But I think that was one of the games that so many people did not want to end. Because yes, at first it did receive hate, but then people really
really started to love it. And here's another thing, maybe EA would have made enough money to keep supporting the game, but maybe they just wouldn't have made as much money as they wanted because like I said before, again, EA is a very money hungry company. And I think a lot of companies nowadays have kind of lost sight of quality and they, they don't have this quality over quantity mentality. It's just quantity over quality. So it's make as much money as possible by also doing as little work as possible. So yeah, just to reiterate, I think that's kind of what happened with Star Wars Battlefront 2. EA said, fuck it, I'll pull the plug and took the money. And oh my gosh, I'm forgetting another thing. They wanted to focus on Battlefield 6, I believe. And I'm gonna say it, I'm gonna say it. Battlefield fucking sucks. I said it, I said it, I don't care. Okay, okay, let me take that back. I'm going to withdraw that statement partially. Battlefront 1 very solid game great game actually one of the best world war games ever campaign very cinematic multiplayer gameplay beautiful explosions everywhere but don't get me wrong war is hell i'm not saying it's great but that game did a great job at glorifying war but then battlefield 5 rolled around pretty mid battlefield 2042 complete shit show and you're telling me they want to spend their money on another battlefield and not battlefront 3 oh my god what are we doing ea now here's what i'm wondering if whoever made that call could go back and time and say fuck it let's continue updating battlefront 2 or let's renew this license whoever has power over that i wonder if they would go back and say yeah let's do it let's continue updating battlefront 2 but yeah ea y'all will never be forgiven for abandoning star wars battlefront 2 hey let me know what y'all think in the comments what do you guys think is a top reason for ea abandoning star wars battlefront 2 if y'all enjoyed the video hit that like button hit the subscribe button and i'll be seeing y'all in the next one peace